Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. I am Muhammad and today we're gonna be seeing how we can containerize our application without using Docker. We're gonna be relying on a .NET technology that comes with our application in order for us to do so. So let's get started. What I have here is I have the interface to create a new application. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it sample web app and I'm gonna change the directory. I'm gonna keep it as an MVC. We can see it's running on C Sharp. And basically here I have a Docker support for Linux and this is what I want. So I'm gonna click on create. So now that has opened, as you can see here, I have have a normal MVC application, I have my controllers, I have my models, I have my Docker file. And what I'm doing here, I'm just, I'm just basically utilizing the outs uh, that I'm using the template that is automatically provided. I'm not doing any custom work and this will also work for web APIs. Uh, I just thought the MVC will be a bit of a change of pace. So now that we have this here, what I wanna do is I wanna run this so we can make sure that everything is running as it should be. And now we can see my application is running. I'm gonna open my web browser and now we can see that my application is running and I can go from page to page and everything is running as it should be okay perfect so now let's go back to my code and basically what i'm doing is i'm gonna stop running this i'm gonna put my docker file into the root directory in order for it to run if i open my docker file we can see it's running on it's exposing two ports port 8080 and port 8081 for https and we can see it's doing the standard docker items in order for it to containerize so i moved my docker file from my to my root directory so now it's available on my root directory i'm gonna remove this we don't really need it okay perfect so now i have my docker file here and what i want to do in order for me to first of all run it within docker i'm just gonna go to my terminal so now what i want to do i want to run through docker so i'm gonna put ls check i'm on the right directory then i'm gonna put docker build and i'm gonna give it a tag sample app i'm gonna hit version 1.0 so now that my application is building this should take a few seconds to complete and now it has been completed successfully what i can do i can actually run it now so i can put docker run specify the port and from gonna connect it from port 8082 to port 8080 and it's gonna be called sample app version 1.0 so now we can see that my application is running if i go back to my web browser and i go to port 8082 we can see that my application is running perfectly inside my docker image okay great so i'm going to stop this right now and this is the last time we're going to be con we're going to be interacting with docker perfect so what i want to do right now is i want to actually utilize a different command in order for me to publish this into, into docker and create a containerized version so i'm going to for uh, comparison sake i'm going to leave this here but what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go into my application to my sample web app if i click on ls we can see that i'm inside that application i'm gonna clear this and i'm gonna utilize the following command in order for me to publish my application the command is gonna be like dot not again this is we're gonna be relying on publishing it into our docker we're gonna create a container image dot not publish and i'm gonna specify something here called dash p and i'm gonna put publish profile equal to default content so if you take a look at this i have not specified here anything regarding docker i did even the directory that i'm running this from is completely different from my docker file is so if i run this right now we can see an ms build is running we can see that my application has already been published and we can see i'm building an image and that image is called sample web app and we can see it's been deployed to docker so if i open now my docker registry you can see here that i have my sample web app created four seconds ago and basically it is running and all of that if you remember even from the first one we have utilized a different tag which is sample app and this is sample web app and this is here we can see that a new image has been directly created from my code using the not publish command directly into my docker and this is basically one of the newest features that it has introduced is remove the direct dependency on docker in order for me to have a containerized image so you might think okay great now i have this running how can i run it and actually see it's the same thing so let's run it so i'm gonna put docker run i'm gonna specify my port so i'm gonna put port 8083 connect to port 8080 and i'm gonna use the same one same image name sample web app now we can see it's running on port 8080 and i specified port 8083 so if i go back to my web browser and I change this from port 8082 to port 8083, we can see it's still running and I can see that here that I'm able to utilize it normally. Okay, perfect. So now that I'm able to do so, and this is amazing by the way this this new functionality is really good so once i have done this now let's see how we can actually customize it because you might think to yourself okay there's a lot of customization that i would like to do but i cannot really do it through this command and you're right in order for us to do this customization similar to what we have with docker what we want to do is we want to go to our cs proj so i'm going to quit edit cs proj here and first of all we don't really need this anymore because we are not utilizing docker and what i want to do here so inside my publish command i had to specify here my publish profile so what happened if i don't really want to publish this every single time well 
but I can do inside my property group. I can specify my published profile and I can then specify it's going to be a default container. So now that I have this, I can actually just simply do dot not publish without me specifying anything else. And it will automatically publish my application into the new, into Docker. So we can see here two seconds ago, we got a new image that has been published. Okay, perfect. So now that this is running and now I know how to do this, let's see how we can actually add more customization to this publishing using my CS project. So first the customization that I want to add, if we go back to my Docker file, we can see here on top of it, I'm actually specifying my base image. So here in my base image, I'm utilizing is ASP.NET version eight from Microsoft, etc. Here, what happened if I want to actually specify manually which version I want? And this is easily can be done through here. So if I want to specify the base image for my .NET publish, what I can do is I can go and add the following. I can add a container base image, and then I'm just going to copy the same one as here. And now again, I'm going to do another publish that's clear .NET publish. And we can see here that it's publishing. It's using the latest image that I just specified here and, and it published it for me. Perfect. So what happened right now if I want to deploy to a different container registry? So currently everything that I'm creating as my Docker images is being directed into my local container registry. What happened if I want to direct this into a different container registry like uh, Azure Container Registry or Docker Hub? In order for me to do that, it's going to be also pretty straightforward. What I can do, I can put container registry and then from here I can specify my container registry. So I can say muhammad.dockerhub.com and I can say for example uh, anything like this. So here for example this is a custom doc container registry so when I run dot not publish it will work but currently this does not exist so it will not work but basically this is how I can specify my container registry. Let me comment this out. So something other than that if we if we pay attention to dot not publish here and let's like take a look at the last image so we can see here that it's publishing always with the latest tag. What happened if I want to specify my own tag and this is and this is very easy to do. So after here what I can do is I can specify my container image tag and I can specify let's say I want to tags version 1.1 and I want latest as well. So if I save this, I go back here, I put dot not publish. Let's clear this up so it's more visible. I put dot not publish and we can see it's publishing. And now we can see here that I have version 1.1 and latest. If I go back to Docker Hub, we can see now I have two tags, one for one, version 1.1 and one for latest. Okay, perfect. So what happened if I want to actually change the port? So here we can see that within Docker, I exposed the ports that I want and through that I was able to connect to it. So in order for me to do that through here, what I can do is let me minimize this. I'm going to create a new item group and I want to add the following. So it's going to be container or I'm going to specify my include to which container uh, to which port I wanted to listen. I can put port 8089 for example and I'm going to specify the type to TCP and that's it. And this is how for example I can actually expose the ports that I want and it will automatically be able to listen to. So again within Docker here if I want to pass any arguments I need to utilize it through the Docker command line when I'm uh, building it and running it. So how can I actually pass arguments here? Again, it's pretty straightforward. It needs to be container environment meant variable you can say include i can say here is for example the connection string and i can specify the value equal app.db for it and this here for example when i run this it will automatically be injected into my container and it will automatically run so we can see here that this is a very 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 powerful tool in order for me to decouple directly from docker in order for me to containerize my application and this is a big push from microsoft into having cloud native application but with this there is some caveat that we need to take into consideration like for example example, the customizability of this, having the capability of changing stuff on the fly, similar to what Docker commands give us, having the ability to alter some of these configurations. It's going to be, it's not there yet, but it's getting there. And something which is really cool about this is right now, what you, as you can see, everything is running through Docker. So if you take a look here, everything is being deployed through Docker. But the nice thing about it, if what happened if I close my Docker and I have Podman running right now on my machine, I'm going to run the same command. So I'm going to clear this again, and I'm going to put .NET publish, and I'm going to Let's wait. Yeah, I'm going to run it right now. And now this is running. The main difference is right now that instead of relying on Docker, the application is smart enough and the .NET SDK is smart enough in order for it to realize that Podman is there and it's published it to Podman. So now if I open my Podman dashboard, I'm able to see that my sample web app that has been created right now is on version 1.1 and it's going to be on the latest. So if I want to update, for example, here my tag to version, let's say 2.1, I can directly publish it. And now if I go back to my Podman, Let's give it a few seconds and we can see here if I refresh this we can see here I have version 2.1 directly available for me through 
called man and this is going to be the main powerful item behind this is this is basically decoupling a lot of stuff from docker and basically giving us the capabilities of editing and containerize our application the way we want to so within this video we have seen how we can actually containerize our application without docker i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please make sure you put them in the comments down below if you'd like to support me please consider supporting me on patreon or buying me a coffee with that said thank you very much for watching and have a great day